part two of this question 11d, uh, we're asked to find the value of m and the value of k in this question. Now they told us that the line OP is extended to C. So the line from O to P is extended until it meets C. Okay. So the line from O to P is extended until it meets C. And they told us that O to C, the vector from O to C, is some multiple of O to P. And we can see that quite clearly. All right, it's along the same line, all right, and it's longer than O to P. So it's a multiple of O to P. Okay, so from O to C, let's put our here, from O to C is M times O to P. Okay, and then it says B to C is K A. So let me just draw a line joining K and A together. Uh, B and C together, sorry. B to C is a vector from a vector called K to A. Okay, so this is the vector K A. This is K A. Now we can see that this is the vector A. O to A is a vector A, and B to C is a vector K A. So these two vectors are actually parallel, even though they don't look like they're parallel. All right, they are actually parallel because these diagrams are not to scale. All right. So now, they've told us O to C is M times O to P. And I know what O to P is from the previous part of the question. So I can say O to C is M times what we found in the previous part of the question, which is 4 over 7A plus 3 over 7B. I can expand that just to make things easier later on. So it's 4 over 7 times MA plus 3 over 7 times mb. That's the vector from O to C. Okay, so multiple of O to P. Okay, and B to C is K. Now, how can I link O and C and B and C together? How can I link them, oops, how can I link them together, okay, in this question? I want to link them together. So I'm going to draw a line from there to there and from B to C, which I already drew anyway, okay? So, how can I link these two lines together? What's the link between them? Because I need to find the value of M and K. I need to make an equation that links them together, that combines them together. Now, the link between them is O to B. I know from this diagram, this vector diagram, that O to B is equal to O to B, which I know, I know it's, I know it's the vector, the vector B, is equal to going from O to C, and then from C to B. Okay, they're linked together that way. O to B is O to C plus C to B. Okay, all right. So. Okay, now, so as I was saying, so O to B is the vector B. O to B is the vector B. O to C is what I just wrote down over here. 4 over 7 times M A plus 3 over 7 times M B. Okay, and that's O to C. And C to B, C to B is minus K A. Because K A is going from B to C, it says B to C is K A. If I'm going in the opposite direction, okay, it has to be minus K A. All right, so now we have an equation that links these together. Now, let me just do one thing. Let me just bring the A terms together. So here you've got 4 over 7 M A and minus K A. So I have 4 over 7 M A minus K A, and then I've got the 3 over 7 M B. Okay, so one more little step before I continue. I'm going to take out A as common from these two terms. So I'll have 4 over 7 M minus K A plus 3 over 7 times M B. Okay. If these two vectors are equal to each other, this vector B is equal to that vector B, okay? They're, they're equal to each other. 
then they must have exactly the same components of A and B. Now on this side, you have 0 A, and you have 1 B. The number of A's on the left must be the same as the number of A's on the right, similarly with the B's. So I can say, if I compare the A's from both sides, I can say on that side, 0 is equal to 4 over 7m minus k. So I have one equation. And if I compare the B coefficients on both sides, okay, on this side I have 1 equals 3 over 7m. On this side you have 1b, on this side you have 3 over 7mb. So that's equal to 3 over 7m. That's another equation. Now the second equation I can solve by itself. I can just multiply both sides by 7 over 3. Okay, I want to multiply by 7, divide by 3. I'm left with 7 over 3 is equal to m. So I know what m is. And I can use that now, because I, I can see from the first equation, if I take the first equation, I can say k is equal to 4 over 7 times m. I know that m is 7 over 3, so it's 4 over 7 times 7 over 3. The sevens cancel out, so you're left with 4 over 3. So here we have our answers. We have k is equal to k is equal to 4 over 3, and m is equal to 7 over 3. Okay? That's how we can answer these questions. Is that clear?